Okay, so start when you are ready. Okay, uh, so my name is Shane McCarthy. I'm 47 years old and I am married to Claire. And we've been together for 13 years. And we are now celebrating our 10th anniversary uh, this weekend. Um, and we are living in Ireland. Yeah, so we, um, at the first night we met, actually, we discussed having children together. So we were pretty much open about having a family straight away when we met. Um, and it didn't happen. We married after three years. So after four years, we were in a doctor um, and she, by listening to me and talking a bit about my cycle, marched me straight to a fertility clinic. Um, so that was the start of our reproductive journey with the help of clinics and IVF. I felt quite disconnected. I felt extremely emotional. Um, we had been trying to conceive for four years. We then did one IVF um, that had little chance anyway. It didn't happen. We didn't even get to egg retrieval. So really a donor was our only option. That's, that's why I went for that option because I wanted to have babies with Shane. And um, for me, it was, it was like a grief. Uh, my whole world felt like it was not going the way it was supposed to go. And, um, and I, I thought I'd never relax enough to sleep again. But we, we just went through, I call it um, intentional grief because I was quite aware as a person. And I, had, I was a holistic healer and a life coach myself, so I, I knew how to help other people. I also knew it, this was a grief and I had to feel the grief of not having my eggs or my baby or looking like me or just so many questions. Um, it's very emotional, <laughs> just thinking about it. Um, So we went through the feelings and the grief um, and I had to get myself well emotionally and mentally. Um, so we gave ourselves a few months. So by January 2016, we had grieved and we were ready and we were actually happy then once you let go of the negative feelings and the stress and the heartache and, and feel them and then release them. You're actually ready to go um, into the next option. So we were actually excited then when we were going to Prague, IVFQ Prague, to go an egg donation route. And, and that was our best option at that time. Once we realized that IVF um, wasn't gonna work for us, uh, then we had obviously had our discussions about egg donation. And we were happy to go down that route. And it started off basically uh, because of the physical distance, uh, a lot of this was either online or by telephone consultation and it also happened to be facilitated through uh, our, our local clinic who had a coordinator there as well so so that was all very easy very straightforward uh, we arranged the various tests and scans that the um, group required and then we made an arrangement to go to Prague um, to go through the process of uh, a donation. The clinic was amazing it was like it was clean and and friendly and they were helpful they were direct and honest you know um they they were helping us with the logistics they would tell us the hotel down the road that was easy to get to and they helped me to understand because i still thought that the other woman was like the half mother and i was then maybe getting to be the mother too i i didn't feel um I felt like I was out of the equation a little bit, that it was Shane and this lovely other woman. And I was like, I don't know, it, it's just confusing. Um, but I wanted to have like me in the baby. Um, so we, we, we would fill out a form. So I insisted that it was blue eyes, just so we had a likeness. And I felt that was fair to ask for that. And we had the risk of twins which we wanted, we wanted oh, twins. <laughs> so we put in two embryos and we got our twins. It was amazing. Uh, obviously we left Prague after the transfer and we were feeling very, very positive. No particular reason for feeling particularly positive, but we were very positive about it. And then we arrived back in Ireland and uh, came time to do the pregnancy test at home. And uh, Claire couldn't wait to do this <laughs> uh, test. 
we, we just wanted to do, I, I wanted to do everything different. So we had four years of pregnancy tests and it was always negative. And I always got that negative. And I had to tell him it was negative. So this time we were positive, we were calm, we were relaxed. Shane was in charge of everything. Like he organized the trip, he kept me calm, he had massages. I just had to rest and relax. My, my idea was for the, we, we knew the day we were going to test. It was 14 days. We were told exactly what to do and we didn't break any rules. We waited until the day we were told. Um, but I told Shane, I'm going to do the test, but I'm not reading the result because I had done that so many times. And I just felt I wanted this one to be different. So we actually decided Shane was going to read the result mm -hmm. this time. Either way, good or bad, and tell me <laughs> for a change. But I, I, I was on the toilet. I didn't even get to like two seconds. It was straight away positive. And Shane was waiting patiently. <laughs> uh, and it was just amazing to tell him good news for a change. Yeah. And, and we had a tear and we just hugged and hugged for ages. So it was just amazing. It was so amazing. Was, yeah. yeah, it was mm -hmm. a great day. Yeah, it's great. I mean, it's, it's part of another journey then, you know, getting pregnant is one thing and then you go through the whole pregnancy journey. Yeah, no, I think I think um, from our point of view, obviously, egg donation was, was fantastic. We have a family uh, because of it uh, and because of IVF Cube and their help. Um, so um, I would recommend people to consider it. In fact, I think if people are having IVF struggles, uh, they should probably, as a healthy process, sit down and talk about the other options, even at the early stage. Um, Shane was keeping our journey very private at the start and I was very public. So my family knew everything and his friends, he was more um, private and that both are okay. But we had some dear friends of ours who were 10 years trying, nothing was happening for them. And I asked Shane permission, could we share with them? So we did. So they followed our journey and six months later went to Cube and also had twin girls six months after us. Um, and it's lovely to be able to do that, to tell people actually, yes. And the success rates for egg donor IVF are so much higher than, you know, for a regular IVF. Um, I think it's important that the clinic cares and understands that that emotional piece is difficult for, for, for me, it really was. It's difficult for the man to not always know what to do with the woman. And if they have people that can help, that's really important too. So, yeah. Yeah, very good.